Oh, you got it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Right now, me and Ivan are going to our neighbor's place. He has a big jack that we can use. We have to drop the gas tank on the RX-7. Comment below if I should get another new car. This thing is dope, dude. That's our buddy Dave. His business is called Safe View. We get a lot of people that come in the warehouse all the time. They think that we're working on cars because the name tuned in Tokyo. He's the actual guy that's gonna work on cars. If you guys need any work on your car, look up our address, come to our warehouse, check out the shop, meet us. This guy is literally right behind us. You guys can go to him for anything that you guys need done on your car. Yeah, by the way, we call him Swift. Yes, that's sir. How you guys doing? Frankie is making me laugh. <laughs> Pictures and videos that you guys are seeing on our page recently, it's all Swift. Love being with the team here at Tune in Tokyo. It's an honor to be working for them as a cinematographer and creative director. You guys are awesome. Well, thank you, team. man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Ah. Let's get the battery relocation finished on this car finally. Haven't driven the car in a month. It's pretty embarrassing, but I mean, that's how shit goes sometimes. So the first thing we gotta do is disconnect the fuel pump. That's what Ivan's doing right now. It's a tip that I have for everyone. And if you're working with hoses, more than likely you always forget where they go. I would get a piece of tape like this, put a piece of tape on the hose, write the letter A, put it in it is, and write a letter A. Okay, same thing here, B, B, C, and C. That way, once you go ahead and put everything back together, you know that hose A goes with inlet A or outlet A, B with B and C and C and D and D. That's my tip for you guys. That way you guys don't have to go around and figure out what hose goes where and then cause the a problem for your car. We got the jack in place. Dave was telling us that you shouldn't put the jack where the straps are at because we're gonna have to eventually take them off. Now I just gotta loosen all the bolts around the tank. I loosened it with the breaker ball. Now I'll be able to get in there and finish loosening. Make sure when you're dropping your gas tank, you never know if there's a wire that's still connected or a bolt that you missed. I dropped the tank right now and we noticed that the left side was a little uneven with the right side. It wasn't dropping. It's definitely connected to something still. There's a tube that runs from your gas cap and it goes and drops into the tank and I believe that the housing for that tube is bolted into the gas cap. And for some fucking reason, the fucking gas tank won't open right now. Yeah. Oh, he got it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking Ivan can build the car from scratch, but can't open the gas tank. <laughs> Round two. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. This is official. Last thing we have to do, we're good to go. We finally got the gas tank out of the fucking RX-7. Now we can finally go ahead and bolt down the plate that will hold the battery in place. We can go ahead and wire the power and the ground and then the car should be back up. We're gonna be putting the battery right here. Ivan just marked all the openings on the battery holder. That way we know where to drill in. Everything's tough as shit. We just had to upgrade the drill. We got all the holes drilled. Ivan be putting the screws in first. Then we're gonna raise the car back up and then screw the bolts in on the other side. Right now I'm gonna go under the car, put the nuts onto the bolt that hold the plate for the battery. Brian's in the car right now, he has to stay inside so he can go ahead and hold the bolt in place so while I'm tightening it doesn't rotate. Oh. Fuck, dude, I don't see shit. I honestly only see this one right here. We're still fucked. We should have screwed them from the bottom up instead of up to down because this screw right here is the only screw that's visible. The other screw I believe is underneath here and other parts. Two of the holes are blocked off, we can't get to them. Four out of the six holes being nutted in. Nutted in. After four of the holes get bolted in, we're pretty confident that the battery will still be in place well enough. We got four out of six, and this thing is solid as a rock. It's not going nowhere. These two openings right here, there was just no way to get to them. It's actually covered up by the welded under part of the car. It does have like an arrow pointing to the side, so he was thinking like you're supposed to pull it out, but it's just quick. Alright, it's time for the fun part. Yeah. 
The bolts, they had a screw on there. We're gonna make sure when we re reassemble the gas tank, put the red locker back again, so that way we prevent the screw from ever coming off. The red locker is to stop the bolts from unscrewing themselves from the vibration of the car. You know, especially since it's the gas tank, I gotta make sure that I'm not just driving down the freeway one day and the gas tank just drops on me. The red locker is always the best thing to use to make sure that your screws are gonna stay in place. We just finished putting everything back together. Now all we have to do is attach the negative wire to the battery and then we'll get it running again. We're gonna keep the interior you know, the way it is because next week I'm gonna attach the harness bar and get the stereo all set up. And I'll put all the interior pieces back together. The negative wire is pretty much gonna connect right here to the side terminal. The positive wire that Ivan's working on right now, we have the tape right here because this is where we're gonna cut it, strap it down right here, hold it tight, like a straight shot up to the positive terminal as well. Touching the paint, you need it directly on the metal. We're 99% done. It's set up and ready to go. We just didn't have the proper sizing for the hardware. We got the hard part out of the way. That's a wrap for today. Me and Ivan are gonna close up shop and head home. We had a long week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm super excited to finally be done with the battery relocation. Before the giveaway, guys, the winner is Congratulations to you. Every video we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Make sure that you comment on this video and every video that we post upcoming. Enjoy the rest of your day. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.